Dolan has three aces, nine errors on the year. Serve received by Anna Hawk, set up for Allie Barber, over the block, and she paints the corner. We're off and running at the Al. Not typical, although Seton Hall does it as well. Wirch with an overhand dig, and she'll go down the line. Rosenthal gonna spike down the overpass. And a beautiful spike by Rosenthal that was set up with the previous play. So the ball's gonna have to try again. It's Brittany Maxwell blocked away. Oh, what an impressive point. Anna Hawk, Jenna Rosenthal both in on that one. What a sequence. You'll fall hustling all the way to the back wall just to keep the ball in play. Helps players go to American colleges. Here comes the set. Castro picks up a kill. It's her third kill of the year. Rose setting it up in the ideal position for Allie Barber, and she redeems herself forthwith. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but Allie Barber is in the story today. Marshall trying to get herself square to the court. Worch against a double block, and there was smoke coming off the end of that ball. It's against Kentucky. So Elizabeth Orff is known to hit hard, and so is Anna Hawk. Six all on Hawk's cross court. To reach back for that one off the block. Maxwell keeps it up. This is Maya Reed through. Oh, what a swing from Maya Reed. Kill number seven on the day. And Rosenthal. Rosenthal off the slide. She gets it down. Haley Buser almost got there, but not quite. 25 all. Maxwell rips it. Rosenthal, double contact. Jenna Rosenthal on the ground, a little bit too long for any Marquette fans liking. 28-27 DePaul. This is Rose over to Ali Barber, back in the match and back in the kill column. 28-all, the Al McGuire Center just exploded. That's Brialt. Barber off the block and it's down. Ali Barber with kill number 20 of the match. And who else to seal the deal for Marquette with Ali Barber? What, a, what an incredible performance on the day. 20 kills, and Marquette speaks to the Paul Blue Demons. It's her eighth 20 kill performance of the match, or excuse me, of the season. And what an iconic one it was. It seemed like every time Marquette was in trouble, Allie Barber was there to bail them out.